Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Leanne. If you're not, come back. In today's video, I'm gonna do Korean Idol inspired makeup, especially Jisoo. Try a little bit of her eye makeup, like with Agusa, but also I did more Korean Idol trend of like a little more here and glassy lips. So it's gonna be a bit of everything. And let's get started. So I start with my brow and eyelashes. So I'm gonna put my eyelashes and clear mascara to give some kind of strength before I do the eyelash color because my eyelashes are not that long and strong so I need some kind of strength before I actually curl it and then actually that helps so much to maintain my eyelash to stay so I apply on my bottom and top for like this and leave it whilst I do my eyebrow so I basically use this Laka eyelash brow shaper it calls strong I just comb it nicely follow my eyebrow shape just like that just quite simple and light and that's it and I'm gonna use this color from Shiseido and this is perfect for Asian eyelashes and I used so many eyelash color before but this is only the one actually curls my eyelash now I got more strength from the mascara so it picks it up a bit better so if your eyelash color doesn't work, try this Shiseido one and I really recommend it. I'm gonna use this Wake Make makeup palette. It's a relief blurring from Wake Make and this got loads of many colors and it works for a little bit like cool tones. If you got like yellow base, I recommend this palette. So I'm gonna apply the nude part, this part around my whole eye holes just go around gently but if you got quite a long face you got, you got to apply more on the end of it and also in the front and also to the bottom where the edge is gonna be and just go around like that and next part is I'm gonna use a little bit darker color than this one and that one you can all mind that part I dropped it and I really broke it and that's the deepest color and darkest one I know I'm quite sad that I lost that color so I just apply at the end this time so the first one I go fully surround but I go only the edge for the second color like that and also go through the like around your eyebrow length where your eyebrow ends I'm gonna straight go into the gel liner and this is just the one I had before normally I use the Lily by Red I haven't found yet any good one in Europe so I'm just gonna pull my eyelid to that way and follow the angle that way you want I quite like the snatch look so I go quite diagonal and I just continue where I start the gap and fill it in and I don't really go to the inner corner just I focus on the edge like that as I broke the darkest color in the palette, so I'm gonna use the old Wake Make palette, but the darkest color to go over where I just draw the eyeliner to smudge the edge to make a soft ending to make it look more natural. So it just connects a bit better. So even if you don't draw properly, don't worry. This stage will make it look everything kind of natural and better. So that's the difference when I do and these are a little bit more. more the main part for me is more the underneath my eye than on top of it I'm gonna go through this brown color to my face underneath to make my eye looks more bigger this way which that helps so much so you literally doesn't follow where the eyelashes are and just keep go straight down and I'm gonna use this Bia Almond Beige Auto Gel Eyeliner. It's for a lip liner or eyeliner. It's for O for multi uses. But I'm using this one to draw my egg yourself. So you can, if you like, squint and see the wrinkle where to start. So I'll just follow that line. But be careful not coat too much till the end because then it will look a bit unnatural. So I'm gonna just draw like three quarter of your eyes underneath and just leave it. So 
So you are making fake shadow underneath your and your socks, so it makes it look more puffier. So I'm gonna use the light beige color to make it softer look and cut it smudge it more, make it more natural. So I just draw the ending that way I didn't draw, but just I uh, elongate it. So it makes it generally looks more connected together. And if you draw the shadow part now, it's the part of highlighting stuff. So I'm gonna use this glitter part to where my actual edge of cell is. So I highlight where I want it to be look like puff out. So I'm gonna put this highlighter on actual my edge of cell. So where I want it to look like come out, it will more show out, but it shows more shadow underneath, so you can see more depth. So this is the eye that I didn't do, but that's the difference. So you can see my eye looks like start from there to finish there. But this one, it just looks like it's end there. So it makes it look narrower and longer eye. I don't mind to have this shape, but to do this like K-pop idol Jisoo makeup, everyone got that egg of sap. So just we got to follow that. Now I draw more on me. So I'm going to do more my mascara under my eyes. So which that will also extend my eyes and give it a more longer and bigger look. So I'm using this Peri Peri mascara. It's really like a slim tip, so it's easy to get the bottom of it. Because I did the active this clear mascara, so it's easier to catch. So basically everything we're trying to do is make it more that way than actually upward. So because everyone wants to make a bigger eye and then they're going that way. But with the long face girly, it's best to go down to make it more bigger eyes, but in balanced way. I use this brown eyeliner, I got it from Daiso, to draw some inner corner to make it more open eyes. So I'm gonna just make it inside like this. You might not see it much different, but it gives you that shadow effect. So it elongates your eye more that way. So everything looks longer and wider downwards will make your face more in proportion. This time I'm gonna use the black eyeliner. I normally also use Lily by Red, but I don't have that eyeliner. I'm gonna use from the one Daiso I got. And I'm gonna draw just the end of it to give a more clearer look. So a little bit like that. And I'm gonna use my favorite concealer from Yves Saint Laurent. This is all our concealer, color LC2. And this one is so light coverage, but it moisture your skin, so it doesn't feel so cakey, so I really like it. I just cover under my eyes and this part and that part. And this is my favorite brush from Hourglass. This is for foundation, but I use for concealer and for blush and everything. It is like a multi-brush. It's my favorite. I'm going to use Fenty Beauty's go around my nose to give a contour here and that across the nose so anything makes it look across your face is better and I won't go so low, I'll go a little bit high and to the side instead of going too up which is if it goes long, everything will make it look longer so I'm going to go more across I'm going to use same brush you brush more around to going upward, which is give a more lifting look. And this brush is just so soft. It is very pricey, but it's so soft and it doesn't irritate your face and skin, which is really good. So that's my main place where I want to contour. Now I'm gonna highlight where I want it to be more like a, looks like a glowy. So I'm gonna use these two sparkle in a corner of my eyes. I'm gonna use a little bit bigger brush to do around my end of nose and your top of your nose and I also love to do my chin and some on the forehead like this Time for the lip liner and lips and blush, my favorite part I'm using this NYX lip liner, it's cold brew and it's like a brown color so I'm gonna go through my lip liner, but I go really close to my under lips, but I'm gonna really overlay my top one. I'm gonna use this Benetit for my lips and blush. So you just tap on the on your lips and you just smudge it like that. 
and also for your cheeks go across your cheek and also i'll tap on my nails a little bit and you just tap it and it gives it like kind of really natural sun kiss look and i'm gonna use this different oil it's a color berry and you're just gonna apply this is my final part of my makeup is gonna be oh, my fake mole i'm gonna draw here so i just make a guide with the brown eyeliner i'm gonna use with the brown liner that i use for my eyes i'm gonna tap it around there so it, you make a brown baseline and you're gonna tap with black one this time to make more definition so when you look at moles it's not just like a black dot it's normally slightly brown around and it goes to dark recently i really like to put more around here i think that makes it also my face looks more smaller and this way which is like an illusion yeah i think i am done so this is my final makeup look what do you think guys i tried like a k-pop idol jisoo little bit inspired makeup so it's a bit of mixture of everything i got a little more like one young but i also did eye makeup a little bit like jisoo and also ego sound trend and glossy lips i hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to see any other makeup style please write in the comment and let me know what makeup you would like to see i'll be back in the next video thank you guys bye Bye.